Hey everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using a free printable from Pink Pixel Graphics. I'll leave her link down below. I've used lots of her kits before on my channel and I just always really like her kits. She also does monthly kits too as well, so if you haven't checked her website out then definitely click the link and go and check her out. So I started with the washi along the top as it already has the days of the week on and then I just took the number dots and put them up the top. This week I am actually on a table. Normally when I film I'm on the floor but I tried this table and it's re really wobbly now I'm looking back at it so now I know not to use this table so it is a little bit wobbly in some places but we're just going to go in day by day and I just used these thin strips of washi and created like a background behind this little cloud icon. And on top of that, I just wrote down that my daughter doesn't have college. I've also got a bill due today, so I just put down one of the bill due stickers, which came with the kit, and also one of my poppets where it's holding the bill and crying. Underneath there I put a piece of washi and a planner sticker, which is from Planning Roses. And then I decided I didn't quite like that up there, so I wanted to put a full box down first. I did download this in the Happy Planner size. Normally I download my free printables in, um, I can't think of the word, Erin Condren size. I don't know why, but this is in a uh, Happy Planner size. So the boxes are a little bit longer than usual. So I just put my upload sticker on top of my full box and then underneath there I wanted to put down that I want to design. I have already started. I'm going to do another plan with me or design with me video which I'm kind of recording before this and then after this so hopefully that'll be coming out this week and then underneath there I put down one of my poppet highlighters and I'm just using that to mark down when my children have got some homework and I just use two stickers that come with the kit to write down which subjects of homework would you And then moving on to Tuesday, I used one of these little labels so I can write down that my daughter doesn't have college again. I can't believe I didn't realise that the table was wobbling, like when I'm looking back at it now, it's like really, really wobbling. But underneath there, I just wanted to write down a checklist, so I just used my ruler to kind of slice off the top bit as I didn't want that on there. And then I stuck down one of the Get It Done stickers. And I just put down my full box and on top of there, I used the half box that matches that pattern as I wanted to do some designing as I'm restocking my shop at the same time. I took one of the large poppets from the laptop sheet that says you got this. Underneath I put down a paint swatch sticker that came with the kit and also a poppet holding the food bags as I need to do a food shop. And then again I'm just using another highlighter to mark down some homework. So then I just went back up and filled in the bits that I had forgotten to fill in quickly before I moved on to Wednesday. So for Wednesday I started with a full box at the top. And then I took some more of these blue long thin strips just to create like a little section to split it up from like the next sticker that I'm going to be putting down. And I just put this green label down to remind myself that I needed to post some orders. There was also a little envelope that came with the kit so I just used that on there as well. Then I used another get it done sticker and underneath there I'm just putting down that I need to print and cut everything that I had designed like on the Tuesday. And for that I just used another sticker from Planning Roses which is a silhouette cutting machine. I put another paint swatch down as I wanted to get the bedrooms done as well, like all tidied. Then I'm just flipping through to find my YouTube puppets to mark down that I wanted to have a YouTube binge while I was kind of doing the printing and cutting. So flipping over to Thursday, it's my cousin Estella's birthday, so I just wrote that down onto a half box and I used a puppet from the birthday part two sheet and then couldn't decide where to put it. 
like I just kept changing my mind and moving it around. Please tell me I'm not the only one that does this with stickers. And on top of there I put a knead tea poppet, I do move that in a little while, but underneath there I put another get it done header and then a small checklist and a little sun underneath, a little sun icon. As I am getting all of this ready I'm going to be having a sale on Friday so I want to get kind of ahead and print and cut lots of things that are ready for the sale. There's actually a few of us that we're doing a loop sale so if you are wanting to buy some more stickers on Etsy then definitely wait until Friday that's when our sale goes live and I'll be telling you the code on my Instagram on Friday so make sure you are following me that so you don't miss out. There are I think there's 15 shops I'm sure there's 15 of us all together so it's definitely a good time to try out some new shops as well. So here's where I'm just changing the sticker because I felt like it was a little bit bare. So I used this other washi that comes with the kit and just use that to kind of fill up that empty space. So for Friday, like I said, I've got a sale happening in my shop. So I just used the alarm clock to write down the time that my sale will start. And then underneath there, I'm back to having new releases on Friday. Thank goodness. <laughs> so I just marked that down on a half box. And then I want to, like I say, put it on Instagram that I have my sale and let everybody know the code. So to incorporate some more of this washi, I decided to create a full box out of it by just cutting it down into little strips. There was only six full boxes that come with the kit so this gave me kind of the extra one that was missing. And then underneath I put another paint swatch down as I want to film next week's plan with me. So I just took a planner from the Poppets planning sheet. I also want to um, listen to some podcasts which I usually do when I'm filling out my planner, when I'm filming it for YouTube, I'm listening to podcasts or watching a YouTube video, but lately it's definitely been podcasts. And then moving on to the weekend, I just use some of the thin blue washi and the weekend banner together. So for Saturday I need to definitely go Etsy shop shopping because as we all know I've run out of literally everything which is why I'm using a free printer all this week. The poppet on there is again from the poppet planner sheet I believe. She's just holding some stickers. I also need to get some housework done as well as sort some bits out in the garden. We're kind of tidying it up ready for winter. I just put another get it done header down and another highlighter to make sure all of their homework is done. And then moving on to Sunday, I started with this petrol pump. I can't remember where this is from, but I've got a feeling it was Elizabeth Plans, but now I'm saying that I don't think that that's right. But I just put down the petrol pump sticker as we need to put the petrol in the car to fill it up for the next week. I want to visit my mum and dad's house so I just used the family poppet heads. To block off some time I used a full box and then again I'm just using some more of this really thin washi tape. I wanted to create my checklist for the usual back to school blah 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 which is kind of perfect as I put that sticker above it. And then moving it over to the sidebar, I used my last full box at the top. And with this kit, there isn't any habit trackers or any kind of sidebar stickers that I usually use. So I got creative again and made my own habit trackers. So I just used the washi, which happened to have five white kind of stripes on it. 
which I could mark Monday to Friday and then when I'm finished tracking for that day or I've finished doing something on that day I can mark it off. I've done mine up for each of the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Etsy just so I can track it in my sidebar. So if you're ever stuck and you haven't got any habit trackers just kind of take a minute and have a look at your stickers because there's always some way that you can use a sticker in a different way than what it's supposed to be used and you can just create one yourself. As always I wanted my next week section so I just put a long checklist down with a little header that I wrote next week on. There was some deco that come with the kit so I just placed this around. So after I put all of the deco down, that was pretty much it for this spread. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget that the sale in my shop starts on Friday and it runs all the way through until Monday the 8th. So you have all weekend to place your orders. As always, I hope you had a lovely weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.